It's interesting to notice that uh, E. Palpatine is uh, running two rends. Yeah, so most the, people only run one, I think. So the reason I'm pretty sure he's running the double rend is exactly for the deck he's facing right now. Because this deck, along with so many other blues, are running double force speed. Mm -hmm. And that rend is there to just stop the force speeds in their tracks. Right. Mm -hmm. As well as, because of the number of Sabine Yodas that we've actually seen today, the rend would have been very useful in that to be stopping running interference, since it's also a zero cost. Yeah, that, that, is, that is a very good point you make. Uh, uh, a lot of supports and upgrades have been plaguing the, the, the tournament lately, and I think two copies of rend might be justified now. For sure, especially because he's running so few upgrades, he has the space. Yeah, he does. He has a lot of it. Yeah. He, has, he has that ability. It's, it's a very well uh, thought of deck, actually, now that I think about it. It's, yeah. uh, it, it focuses on doing one thing and one thing well, and it, it leverages everything on it. For sure. The other thing I'm noticing is we're seeing some cards coming back that ha pe we haven't seen much play of in a while. Uh, for example, both players are running two Mind Tricks, which is a card from Awakenings that really hasn't seen that much play since Awakenings, and now it's come back. It's true. I mean, people are running like six, seven dice into the pool, right? Once you mind trick them, they have to make a tough choice. Exactly. Definitely a tough choice. I see the people doing mulligans now. Um, yep. What are you looking for for uh, Qui Gon Yoda in terms of your starting hand? If it was me, I'd be looking for four speed to put onto Yoda. I'd also be looking for a Shoto lightsaber, it, lightsaber pull, or. Uh, ancient Lightsaber to drop down onto Qui-Gon. That way you have your upgrade for damage as well as your all your four speed trickery with Yoda and chaining specials. Perfect, yeah. Makes sense. What about um, Palpatine? You think uh, maybe one Resilient? Resilient would be the top card on my mind for Palp. Uh, second one would be an Indomitable, just because he's the best deck for that card. I mean, it is him doing a forced lightning hit inside the visuals. Just it's pay one, he gets three shields. It's an amazing card. That is true. I'm thinking maybe sound alarm for all the melee that Qui-Gon might be able to put out. So I'm actually surprised to see sound the alarm, and then again, he's only running one of it, so maybe that's why. Because of the amount of action cheating, you tend not to be able to target people's dice. Right, not to be able to mitigate. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Um, now they've rolled off for to see whose well, battlefield two, wins. It's, I think it's three, two, so that's five, six, yep. seven against uh, one, two, three. Yep. There so, you go. Picks Palpatine's uh, Yep, so he's gone with his, his battlefield, so that'll be an interesting thing to see how it works. Especially dangerous given he just gave Qui-Gon two shields to start. Yeah, Which means any shield generation is going to do damage. Oh, oh, oh that's intimidate why. from the get-go. Yep, there go those shields. That mm -hmm. makes the choice all the more reasonable that he went first. We have to mention that uh, Palpatine's battlefield is uh, the Imperial Palace, which is look at your opponent's hand and discard a card from it, which is uh, good for control, you know? Yeah, and so the Qui uh, Daniel's first play was It Binds All Things, which is a great opening card to see. I missed that in his list. That is something you ideally want to see first. Ooh, double focus. Oh, that is really double good. special on Yoda. That's ideal. However, there was no four speed played, so that means he did not draw it in the opening hand, which is makes him less than ideal. Two discard and then two damage. Yep. It'll be interesting to see where he puts the damage. Oh. Wow, so we lost a synchronicity and a lightsaber pull. Those are both two really good hits. Yeah, that, that's, that's painful. Both and damage on Yoda, Yoda, which makes some sense, because people will tend to target down Qui-Gon and not Yoda, so might as well put the ablative damage there. It's basically indirect damage. You get to pick where, where he goes, yeah. Yep. Keep uh, Qui-Gon alive as much as possible. Yeah. I'm curious to see if Pal... He if had two copies of Light Server Pull, you see that? Oh, so okay, yeah. so that's a lot better for him then. That's good. Let's see what he grabs. I'm going to guess Shoto. Shoto, yep. yeah. There's right the Shoto. Choice. Good? And he's got the ability to play it, so if Palpatine doesn't interfere, that Shoto's coming on board likely is the next action. We probably reroll. And I like the comment piece. about the weird Palp in the comments here. I actually personally find this is the much more efficient way to pal play Palp these days, because you don't need the extra upgrades to get damage. You just want those resilience in order to keep them alive and the dice rolling. Right. Every every Palpatine's dice when it gets resolved is two indirect damage. Yeah. You can think of it that way. You're doing minimum four damage every turn. That's right. Ooh. Oh, we did a. Uh, I don't a recall the name of that card. Alter. Thank you. Uh, so Alter, it's a two cost to flip two cards, which was an amazing play because it got himself three damage and got rid of a focus. Forcing him to, not focus, sorry, a special. Forcing him to use the other special to bring it back to get the effects to get back his shields. And as he's well now as showing three 
ranged damage now. Yep. Uh, as well as the other activation off of the Yoda special was to get an extra resource. So he now has the ability, if he had a three cost upgrade, to play it. Or four yeah. cost, in fact, because it binds all things. So the twin direct basically went one shield of uh, Qui Gon and one on Yoda. Yep. Shoto lightsaber comes down. That's always good. Yep. Oh, and I am liking that he's forcing that he's now targeting Yoda, so Yoda's already half dead. So he claimed because he uh, he discarded his last uh, card from his hand. He got rid of the rend, which wouldn't have been that strong in this play anyways, but it does reduce the ability to re to reroll, which is really important to do all the same. Yeah. Now we're back up to the top. They'll gain some resources. All right, next round. Yep. Two and shields on Qui Gon. That's yeah. good. And Daniel is in a relatively strong position as far as resources go with those two shields and four resources himself. However, Jeff's taken no damage as of yet, and Daniel's already taken six. It's, uh, well, he has enough resources for uh, Obi-Wan's lightsaber. This is very and, true. Right? And I think he drew it. Oh, and double I do blanks. see a force speed in his hand and an ancient. I think. Uh, for yep. Daniel. For so yeah, yeah. we'll see those get played likely. Oh, a double blank on Jeff's yeah. Palpatine. Uh, now, now, I'm, if I'm dealing, I'm feeling a lot safer because I'm like, I can play an upgrade. I can play. Yeah. Uh, He's got spend time. Some resources. I got time before you know. I have to deal yeah. with Palpatine's die. There's the obvious force play to Yoda. Even with him at half health, that's still very well worth it because if Yoda rolls out one special, chain them. All three of those dice are going special. Right, 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 right. Swiftness. Swiftness, yes. So Jeff's playing Swiftness, which means his next card will get Ambush, which, ooh, ooh nice. It'll be use the Force to get to a three damage face on Palpatine and then resolve it. Wow, that is very punishing. So Yoda's down to two health already. So we may Turn only two. see that Force Speed trigger once today. Or maybe not even trigger. Who knows? Possibly. That was a, that was a really clever, yeah. clever play, I gotta this say. It's been a really strong opening for Jeff. Oh, absolutely. One. Oh. Uh, Thank you. Uh, paying one for unbreakable. Yep, removing a die equal to shields, and it was a blank, so that's zero. That's valid. And the Obi Wan saber was there. See, I would have, I would have played that. I would have slapped that on. Removing that die while he could was too important. No, instead of the four speed, I would have. Oh, instead that. of the speed, yeah. that's fair. Yeah, I would yeah. play that. Especially because I can always use uh, the uh, support to just to make it cheaper and still have enough money to yeah. for uh, removal. Yeah, that is a perfectly logical thought. See, goes away. Yep. Hopefully, I'm assuming he's running two in that list. All right. So Yoda it. comes out with one special, which is all he needs. Palpatine currently has no resources and is exhausted, dice used, so chances are he's not going to be doing too much more unless he's got some zero-cost events in hand. I think he's passing because uh, I didn't see any cards. Oh, no, he claimed. Uh, Jeff claimed. Yeah. You're right, he claimed, yeah. All right, so let's see what Daniel can do while he's freewheeling and able to go. Oh, I see four damage showing on Qui-Gon's die. Yeah. So two, one, one. That's, a, that's, that's good because you can always pressure your opponent. Yeah, so one of the comments is talking about the fact that there is no Holocron in that Palpatine deck, which is not surprising given he's chosen to minimize his upgrades. The no ri it rise again, again, because when you have almost no upgrades, it's not as great a card. Also, Palpatine tends not to have a lot of resources, so he has a hard time playing that card. It, he does, he does. Yeah. He has to balance between playing, spending resources to play his events and spending his resources playing upgrades and supports and all that. So it's definitely a careful balance. So when they see that, uh, Yoda uses special to chain specials and change the Shoto to plus three, or the Ancient Lightsaber Ancient. to plus three. Yeah. That is a lot of damage wow. just thrown it thrown in his face. We we're looking Four, at five, five, six, eight. Eight. Eight damage on Palpatine. Yeah. So he's up to ten now after two earlier. Wow, he's down to five. So, yeah. you know. That was a big turn for tight, both of them. Yeah. This is exciting. And again, we mentioned no rise again. So every yeah. damage that you do to Palpatine is just one step closer to him just going I'm, down. I'm hoping for Jeff's sake that he managed to draw an Indomitable just to keep himself in the game. Yeah. This is uh, basically to the races. Yep. Yeah, I would roll in Palpatine for sure. For sure. Especially Anything you can get right now, it's huge. Those are that looks like shields and, and discard. Yeah. Those shields would be great as his next activation. Another one with the force to just uh, 
finish him off. Show lethal, yeah. yeah. Of course, the Yoda rolls in while he still has a chance. Ooh, Hits three triple, specials. Triple special. Ooh. If Jeff can't interfere with this, Daniel's going to go a little wild here. You definitely have to try to do something, I think. For yeah. sure. Otherwise, it's Yoda special, Yoda special, four speed. Two more actions. Roll in and resolve Daniel. Uh, roll and resolve qui -Gon. Qui -Gon. If he shows good. If not, you can still re-roll. Yeah. Actually, Before. in fact, he may even leave the Yodas. Hey, four speed. Nope. That's four solution. Oh, four solution. Sorry. Just he wants to keep that Palpatine alive. So I'm assuming here we're going to see an activation of the four speeds so that he can roll in Qui-Gon and see where he has to go next. Oh, my mistake. He's uh, playing wow, an, heirloom. an heirloom. Okay, he's going for the throat. He's getting as strong as he can before he does it. Especially because Jeff didn't mitigate or remove any of Yoda's dice, so chances are he doesn't have any control in his hand. For sure. There's the Indomitable play. So he's now got three shields and a force illusion. This puts his health in a lot better place. That's, uh... Yeah, so there's been commentary about just how amazing the rolls have been. They're not wrong at all. The amount of specials we've already seen from Yoda has been amazing. Oh, he's chosen. going in. He's chosen to roll in Qui Gon before activating spe force speed. Gaining a shield, doing a little damage. Yep, off the Shoto, Shoto to strip the shield. I would expect Daniel's next resolution will be specials into two extra actions and then basically resolving all of his dice. Yeah. So we'll see what Jeff can do here. And it's it's in, it, interesting to note that with the four solution, because qui is always pinging you for one, it's very inefficient, because you won't see, most of the time, a bunch of damage all at once. Sure. It will just be small amounts of damage over time. Yeah. And that that's deadly when it comes to trying to figure out when to use four solution. Yeah. Which is why I expect we'll see Daniel focus into generating shields as opposed to generating damage. That's right. Just so he can do that ping for death. So I believe we're on Jeff's activation. He's just thinking, trying to decide what his best plan is at this point. Yeah, I, I feel Jeff was is still doing the right thing by focusing Yoda. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now he's resolved the Yoda, the Palpatine die for two shields, which is not entirely efficient as he only gets one shield, but it makes sure that he gets some damage in and that die off the table. So that's back to Daniel. We'll see if he does what I expect and start resolving specials. He yep. does. There we go. There's the Yoda so that he will gain a shield, likely, and flip a die. So I will probably change the heirloom. Uh, he'll be able to do a second time off the other Yoda. That's true. So, okay, so, oh, he's going for melee, but all base melee so that, as you said, force solution will not be that efficient. That's right. There's the second Yoda, going for the heirloom for as one. you expected. There, okay. three. Yep. Two and then actions. now the speed. Wow. So the first is he's activating properly separately. Heirloom does three, getting rid of the illusion, taking out three cards. And then another three damage off the Shoto and Qui-Gon's die. That's 11 damage. Yep. Now he gains one shield and throws two shields. That's two more damage. Yep. Wow, Palpatine is really close to... Uh to death. Yeah. After a very strong start, who would have sure. thought? Yeah. Who would have thought? Those that opening volley just bringing Yoda down to two. Now Palpatine's there with them at two. Yeah. So he discards the reroll, hoping uh, for a hail, hail mary. Yeah. He. I would. I. You have to try to see if you can get something done on Yoda. For sure. Now Daniel's out of dice. He still has a lot of cards in hand. It's a question of does he want to force Jeff to discard? Yes. He does. Yes. Oh, that's huge. I would have played the Force Illusion. I mean, the one with the Force. Well, I'm not sure if he had the resources for it. As he currently doesn't have any resources, oh. he likely did not have the ability to. Oh, wow. there we go. Three. There and, goes Yoda. Yeah, there. Okay. That was a very good reroll off the Endurance. It was. I mean, it's still tough because he is basically two points oh, of damage sure. away from just dying. Qui Qui-Gon's got nine health, five dice. Yeah, it's, it's going to be rough. He needs more of his recursion, you know, the the cards we're talking about, how you bring it back to into play after being uh, used or controlled or something. I feel like if I was Jeff, I'd be looking for five zero-cost mitigation cards yeah. because of that roll that just is about to occur. Blank, blank. Oh, does uh, Jeff play um, um, the blank? 
card. Oh, um, anger? Or feel, uh, feel his anger? Feel his anger. Yeah. Uh, he likely has it, but not oh, in hand. Overconfidence. overconfidence. Good choice. Hitting both the base die and the plus. And coming back as a cock die. Uh, that would be good enough. I'm... And so, and the other die fell off the table, so he, he'll likely reroll both. This is them, like this is them going to check for cocked, and discussing how the cocked will work. I think they're going to get a ruling on that. Yeah, they've in fact now called a judge over in order to deal with it. So again, so just as we're looking at this right now, and the judge is being called over, she's currently also running a draft. Uh, there are two blanks for Qui Gon, so that really wasn't a great role to start with. But Give feel it, your anger will be will be amazing sure. here, yeah. amazing, and it much needed too. Yes. And it's cocked. Okay, so we'll reroll. So that'll be rerolled along with the other die. Coming wow. back. Oh, came back worse for Jeff. But he still got to get rid of the overconfidence. Yeah. That's true. So it works out just fine. There's no base damage showing. So he's definitely gonna have to discard to reroll. Yep. But it is Daniel's turn now because overconfidence does not have ambush. And there's another judge call from the table. Uh, I don't know what the problem is now. Oh, uh, they missed the activation of the Shoto lightsaber. And now oh, they're checking with the judge as to whether or not it's a missed opportunity or if they can correct it. Was it a plus one or a money? Oh, the face was wrong. Um, sorry. It's a little hard to see. From Correction. The reason for the judge call was that the die was knocked and we, they are trying to confirm what the face of the die should have been. And we are going to check that through live replay. Um, the commentary is saying plus two on the Shoto. We're, we're, gonna we're still going to check. The, we're still going back and double checking the history. The so, Shoto lightsaber yes. was a uh, resource side. Before the rolling, before, before the rolling. Before he this, rolled. This one right here, yeah. right? That's a Shoto lightsaber. Yeah, roll a little bit further back. Yeah, he, he rolled and knocked it. Um, before the cock die. Before the cock die? Okay. Yeah, right sure. here. Yeah. Oh, right it's here. a plus. It's a plus side. Okay. So the, it looks like a plus one. To me. So we've confirmed by going back that the Shoto was a plus one. So we so our judge will be resetting it correctly. By the way, we're having we have a great judge today in Jenna Marion. Uh, for sure, she's yeah. amazing. This is this is our eighth round today. She has done a great job all day. I've been happy to work with her and support her. Look at this roll. Three plus three. Oh. I hope uh, he has some mitigation in his hand. I see a force solution in his hand. I would play it. If I don't have any mitigation to get rid of that, I would play it. Uh, it's worth ditching those six cards to stop that damage. Yeah. So the commentary is asking about where Nationals is being held. Uh, we are currently in Toronto in the lovely Sheraton Conference Center. It's been a great venue to use. There we go. Force Solution is down. Yep. Let's see if Daniel just takes it and mills him for six. I, I would. Okay, ditch oh, and reroll. He rerolled oh. the base. No, he rerolled the plus. Okay. So it's three, four, five. Oh boy. Yeah. As well as a single shield. Yeah. So this illusion will stop the three, but there's still three more damage coming, and that will kill Palpatine. He's only two right. Oh, he's uh, using hidden motive. Hidden motive. And I'm assuming he called damage, and, and there, there you goes go. the airlock. Wow, big play. However, Daniel can still resolve three damage here. So that's two off the singles. He has to use a force solution on either of them. He has to use it on one of them. Correct. Yeah. He doesn't. In order to survive. And there's the force illusion for one. And then if he doesn't mitigate that shield, I think that's... Uh, that shield is game unless he can stop it. There's oh, the doubt. doubt. However, so many sides are good. Oh, that's it. Yep, that I is think. it for that game. Yeah, round one is done. Um, since it's a best of three and Jeff lost the first round, he should have choice. I'm curious to see, however, if he changes from last time and chooses to go second to get those extra two shields and stop Qui-Gon for starting on them. Well, he got rid of the initial shields this right off the bat, right? With, with uh, I think it was intimidate. Uh, intimidate, yeah. So if he opens intimidate, oh, he's chosen his base again. Go. So he's maybe he has intimidate in hand. There you go. Uh, oh, no. abandon a little hope. Oh, all your cards wow. are all your resources. That's huge. Yep. That is huge. Let's see what Daniel does. The resources, as expected. 
just because his hands can be. Oh, and force speed. His hand's too powerful with that force speed in there. He didn't need the resources. Yoda, when he rolls out Yoda, he can get back the resources to play upgrades. Uh, to mill. discard and resource. Not ideal. Not what you want to see. The mill is not bad either, because he's still going to hit Daniel's hand, hoping to get upgrades. We see a special and two shields. Yep. On There's the oh, rend. There's a rend. Very nice. Very good. So that's one force speed down. That was a great play with that rend. So, chaining, uh, cha yeah. Yep. Chain. So, so he's gotten a resource and a flip. Then he went for a resource and a damage. And a damage. Oh, sorry. I should explain. The reason that damage keeps occurring, as people may not be aware, it is not normally part of Yoda's effect. What he's doing is gaining a shield, but when he gives it to Qui Gon, he's using it to throw instead to do the damage to Palpatine. In case anyone's curious. It's interesting. He missed. Uh, he discarded two of uh, Daniel's hand. He missed a uh, lightsaber pull. Lightsaber pull, and his other hand is a heirloom. Oh wow! Yeah, so he just missed. What did he hit? He hit a rend, and it, it binds all things. The it binds was an important hit. The it, rend in this game, it, it not was. that matter. It, it was, but at the end of the day, you wanna you wanna see those cards, and yeah. I rather see that Shota or the lightsaber pull in the discard pile. For sure. Now we've seen Palpatine's dice have both been resolved. The damage went into uh, the damage indirect went into the two shields on Qui Gon as well as again two into Yoda. Oh. We had a high ground play since Jeff is in control of the base, which meant, as you can see from the card on the screen, he could get rid of dice. Or, yeah. Ooh, I would get rid of here. I'd get rid of hidden motive. Yeah, I would. Because that, would, I mean, and there it goes. Still get, yeah, here it goes. Such a powerful card to come in that rival starter. It is. It is. All right, we're back up to the top of the next round. Damage is looking similar to the, to the way it did last time, although Qui-Gon's taken a bit. I see a failure anger in Jeff's uh, open uh, hand, so nice. if we see any blanks, I wouldn't hesitate to use them. For sure. However, Yoda has no blanks, so yeah. we won't get any yet. We, we have to wait until Qui-Gon rolls in. That is arguably some of the worst sides for Yoda at two single shields. Yes, it's good for Qui-Gon, however, it's not what you want to see on Yoda. Two shields on and a resource for Palpatine. Oh, he discards an uh, Obi Wan's. He likely has a second in hand. There's a special and a mill. The mill is mediocre, but that special is all he needed. That's where Airmy pulled. In fact, I really discarding like, to reroll. Oh, discarded the high ground. However, he's not in control. Blank and two discards. The two discards were reasonable. The rest, not so much. So a special and a resource. There goes the special for likely a resource and a shield. There's the shield. Do you hold out for Qui-Gon to roll in, especially knowing you have Feel Your Anger? Um, at this point, there is no target for that Feel Your Anger. He's likely to re-roll or oh, just resolve the mill. Because of the number of resources Daniel has, he's concerned there's a second Obi-Wan in his hand. And he Ooh, hit it. Oh, there we go. There go and, and a synchronicity. A, wow. wow. Those were two really good hits. I think those were the best cards he could have plucked out of Daniel's for sure. hand. Uh, and there's the indirect damage coming in from oh, from Palpatine. Went entirely into Yoda because he needed to keep that shield on Qui-Gon. I believe uh, Daniel has a Ren in his hand, which is a dead card. Very dead. All things considered. Uh, so Qui-Gon came in with a single shield, a single shield, and a resource. Not unreasonable, however, that resource is not relevant to him. Hey, man, when it comes to Qui-Gon, even the... Oh. oh that's nice. That's so a three range damage. Discard of, I believe, a Swiftness, which is a card that's very situational to get three damage face. So that die is functionally doing five damage if you can resolve it. And we all know he's going towards uh, Yoda. Yep. Well, here comes the shields, likely for defense in this case. <laughs> yeah, to mitigate the, you know, the two indirect that Palpatine does to you. Yeah, and to six. basically convince Jeff to put the base three into Yoda. Yeah. Oh, I think he's claiming because uh, he's... Uh, yep. I would get rid of Feel Your Anger. Uh, at this point, I actually would likely agree. Oh, the doubt. Oh, went. the doubt. Interesting. I mean, all three are very good cards. That's well, considering he discarded the last round, um, the the red card, the, the one that uh, you can call the side and remove the die. Oh, hidden motive. Hidden yeah. motive. I'm surprised he didn't do it again. This is true. Although, the doubt was there from the previous round, I believe. So I guess he was just clearing house. There's right, a lightsaber, lightsaber pool. pool. Oh wow, so we're going to have two Shotos on Qui-Gon. That's just going to be damage. 
So we've had a comment saying, feel your anger is useless versus Yoda. However, based on the way Daniel plays and the number of upgrades he puts on Qui-Gon, you can end up with still quite a number of blanks for that feel your anger to hit. Three ranged and oh. a blank. And here comes the control. Yep, and there's the overconfidence play. It'll get rid of one of those dice. We have a three. Oh. He got rid of that. He does keep the three damage. However. I would trigger that right now. That kills Yoda. It depends. If he has an endurance in hand, I would use the endurance. I'm assuming he does not. So there goes Yoda's dead. And Qui-Gon will take two damage because of the indirect. This looks a lot better than last game. <laughs> yes. Jeff is looking more consistently better here, given we're not given the point at which we're in the game. So this double Shoto is likely to put one shield on... Oh, three. Oh, I missed an Indomitable play there. Unbelievable. So he activates. He's going to get two Shoto triggers. So it'll be interesting to see if he does it to gain shields. There you go. See? Two blanks. Exactly. Feel your anger incoming. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> let in and your comment about feel your anger being useless. There's a really good target for it. Uh, he gains the shields off Shoto. He does not risk removing shields from, from Palpatine at this point. There you go. Feel your anger. Big place. I'm expecting both Qui-Gon dice to be removed. I would uh, remove the Shotos. I mean, oh. Uh, one one Qui-Gon, he removed the non-blanks, that's mm -hmm. fair. That's unfortunate for Daniel, but, you know. I mean, if I was Palpatine, I'll do the same. Yeah. Uh, a reroll, uh, ditching synchronicity since he has not had targets for it yet. Better than blanks. And there's uh, a force illusion. Oh, illusion, sorry. Wow, so Palpatine is really stacked up defensively right now. He's sitting at 17 functional health plus force illusion. Daniel has a lot of work to get through this. I think he will, you know. Yep. Ping you for one here, ping you for one there. Oh, yeah. So he's thrown one shield at him. Oh, and there's claims. the claim. Ooh. We have an illusion and an overconfidence. He gets Excuse rid of the illusion. Me. That's fair. Now, knowing, knowing that he has a overconfidence in hand, you might want to proactively discard to see if you can get your, your recursion. For sure. Right? Because that overconfidence will remove one of his dice otherwise. That's right. Uh, what do we, can we see anything that I believe that's a resilient actually in the front of his hand? Oh, I'm mistaken. Uh, wow. Three damage and a bad. one. So here should come the overconfidence. Yep, paying one. There's the overconfidence. There it is. Rerolls. Hopefully, it, he still maintained a three damage. So that did. Do you resolve okay. it or do you play. Um, if he has the endurance, I would play endurance. that. Otherwise, I would resolve that die. You do leave yourself open to... There's the endurance. He rolls the, the die back in. Perfect. And it's... Uh, two, shields. two shields. That'll work great as a follow-up to once Qui-Gon does something. <laughs> Alright, so it's Daniel's go. Let's see what he does. Qui-Gon activating would effectively remove the shields off. Uh, I think that was... Sing no. That was unbreakable. 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 So he's removing a die that has the same value or less than the number of shields. However, that is still good for Jeff, as he's forced Daniel to have to play multiple cards to get rid of one die. That's right. So that's five damage into Qui-Gon due to the special, uh, the, not the special, but the effect of The Palpatine. ability of Palpatine. <laughs> hey, look, an ancient lightsaber goes in. Oh, sorry, uh, heirloom. 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 He has the resources, makes perfect sense. This is going to be a lot of potential damage from Daniel. I'm assuming Jeff will just pass until he can use up the counters in his hand. I think we have uh, three damage showing, two resources, and a blank. I'm curious what the Shotos will do, if he remembers to trigger them. Yep, he does. He'll take two shields for safety. So the heirloom's on its lowest damage face. We've got a plus two from the Shoto, and then looks like two resource faces. A hidden motive on the Shoto, calling and, damage. Yeah. Gets rid of it. Nice. Discard to reroll? Uh, no, he is. that's a trigger. Oh, trust your instincts. It's trust your instincts. That way he can then draw a replacement card. Oh, it's zero cost. Thanks yeah. Very much. It's a card that I both love and hate in most decks. <laughs> uh, there's the claim. Mind trick, right? I no, would take well, the mind trick. At this point, the binds all things is irrelevant. He's got three upgrades already. That's true. There, go, there it goes, because the mind trick gets rid of one of your Palpatine dice. For I mean, you're paying two resources. He's paying two resources to do it, but still worth it. And at this point, you can just override the upgrades, right? For sure. So. Economy is not an issue. There was a reroll into what looks like five damage. Plus, he's throwing a shield for six. Yeah, there we go. Palpatine, yeah. it's five damage. However, Jeff is still in a much stronger position right now. And yeah, they it's both. Five to five, yeah. I'm slightly amused that Jeff almost has enough resources to trigger a rise again that he's not playing. 
<laughs> Palpatine should not have four resources. <laughs> that is very true. And I believe there's an indomitable in his hand again. That is great. Double blank? Ooh, double blanks. Oh, that is really unfortunate for Jeff. This will give Dan Daniel a chance to catch up. Yeah. Now he can, th he can take things slowly, knowing there's no pressure coming from for sure. Palpatine right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. So we see here that... Um, All right. So guys, if we sound a bit more quiet, we've been informed that um, our voices are carrying more than expected. So we are going to quiet ourselves down a bit in order to not be heard by the table. Oh, wow. An altar to spin both dice to three damage. This might be game here. Six, seven, eight. Yep, that oh, is game. There is game. Wow. So we're going into game three with a 1-1 one, one score. This is this is a close game, man. Yeah. This is very close. I like it. I'm still, as I said at the top, I am just love seeing Palpatine and making it to top eight. It's one of my preferred decks. It's I've played it since it was a, it was available. Although that being said, uh, Yoda, Yoda Qui Gon's the only thing I've been playing since I picked up Yodas. Is, I, I, I feel like Palpatine deck is very, very well built. I mean, for sure, it, it, it focuses on just controlling your opponent's dice to the point that Palpatine could just shine, you know. And as we've seen here, the the, the amount of output damage that Palpatine can put out is ridiculous. For sure. Yeah. No. And it's it's just nice to see that he's proving that you can play a deck with almost no upgrades. Yeah. I mean, his only upgrades are the Force Illusion Force and the Resilient. And I mean, we haven't even seen Resilient come out yet. No, not yet. Yeah. If you were Daniel, would you stick with the battle that they're currently playing at, or would you choose yours? He wants those shields in opening on Qui-Gon. But, but we've seen many, many times how easy it is for you know, Jeff to just get rid of those shields. The other thing is, I don't think he wants to give Jeff two more health to start. But are you going to give your opponent the chance to have knowledge of your hand and discard your best card? Well, in, I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Daniel has been um, claiming more than Jeff in spite of the difference in number of characters. But when, so it still may not be that bad. However, whenever Jeff if prefer, does claim, we have seen Mind Trick. Oh, for sure. You know, that um, it's been so painful to Daniel. It, it, it's hurt. Yeah. It hurt a lot. And Jeff doesn't care if he gets his hand milled, as most of his cards do the same thing. Yeah. That's a fair point. It will be an interesting, it will definitely be one of those important decisions uh, sure. in this last match. Especially as this will be the first time Daniel gets to choose. That's right. He hasn't been able to pick yet. Nope. Let's see what he, okay. He went for he shields. Sticks, yeah, he sticks to to the shields. <laughs> the opening <laughs> there you <go>. see. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Daniel um, uh, was unlucky there. <laughs> intimidate doing work. Uh, one resource into it binds all things. Okay, so oh, Daniel early had, on, yeah, important. It's what you want to see in opening. Here comes Palp. Three in the blank. Ooh, one three. of those is good. Um, oh wow! So Daniel had a good opening hand. Shoto comes down. Yep. We also gained knowledge that there's at least one of his agents is not in hand, as we saw it when he pulled the Shoto. Would you resolve the three ranged already mm -hmm. right now, um, knowing that he's gonna probably. Trigger. Uh, nope, he's doing an alter to see if he can max out his damage. No, it's a use the force. Or use the force, my mistake. Um, so hopefully, this does doesn't backfire because if Daniel happens to have a mind trick or a overconfidence. He does have money though because he used it for. He still has one money. But he, mind trick is two. True, but he can overconfidence for one. That's what I was going to say. Mm. If he has these cards, he could potentially screw with this. The overconfidence would be very he painful here. Nope, a second pull. Okay. Okay, so we know he doesn't have that. Nope, and that means Jeff's about to do uh, 10 damage. Oh, second Shoto, nice. All right, let's see if... I'm assuming Jeff will do 10 damage here. So there's been a comment questioning why Jeff wasn't using Obi-Wan's Hut, as that's been a very... Oh, sorry, because Obi-Wan's Hut was put down. Jeff likely did not choose that as the battlefield because he wanted to make sure Qui-Gon was minimized on his shield generation. Also, just the sheer power of the Imperial, pa Imperial Palace that Jeff has been using 
to remove cards Daniel needs, especially as when Daniel's been claiming, Yoda it doesn't X. take much from his hand as it's all mitigation cards, so he just loses a mitigation card. Whoopty. Pretty Yoda at seven damage. damage. Yeah, he's 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 three range uh, damage away from. Yeah. There's a four solution just for safety, even though he's in a good enough position to probably not even need it. Uh, Yoda came up on disrupt and shield, uh, shield, so that disrupt face is, from me, the worst side. That you know, the shield being the second worst. Shield shield plus two. Yeah, he's gonna have to discard to reroll. You 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 ha you want to definitely yep. want to. Um, I believe Jeff at this point is just passing until... Oh, he's discarding a mind trick. He doesn't have the resources, as you said earlier. Yeah. Oh, right. well, Yoda came up with focus, two focus. focus. That's good that's, enough. That's solid. He can hit himself a special and get something better on a Qui-Gon. Right now, I, if I don't have the control, the I will probably claim, because I know in his hand there's another Shoto. Discard it. That's very fair. However, I'm expecting he has at least one more control piece, and he was waiting for what just happened. That caught zero. There, there it is. So, uh, that was a sound the alarm. Yeah. Make him reroll two of his dice. Uh, that came up. We know Yoda's going to fix it again. Yep. Uh, however, the four shields sitting on Qui-Gon does mean he can do palp two, two individual damage and gain two shields on Qui-Gon to keep him alive. Well, Yoda will give you another one, so... That's true. And plus one, I mean the one melee on Yep, there's the special. He's gaining a resource and likely a shield. There's the shield. Now I would claim. Uh, yep, Shoto, there's the bye claim. Bye. Uh, Shoto and it is a force illusion. These are both very strong cards. I'm curious to see which one he chooses. I do agree with you. I would Shoto, hit the Shoto, yeah. but that force illusion still does a lot of work, especially against Palpatine and those three sides. But that will only matter. Well, you're, you're focusing on, on. Yep. Oh, wow. And there goes the illusion. He thinks he can deal with the Shoto better than he I'm can expecting deal with the force he, I'm expecting he was concerned the illusion would keep Yoda alive. Mm. And, oh, Qui-Gon shields are being used to safety and Yoda. damage to Palpatine and another one to Palpatine. There we go. I mean, this is, this is early on, and Yoda is almost... We're back to the way it was in game one, where Yoda's almost dead. However, that's how we were in game one, and Jeff did lose that, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Daniel definitely rolling. came back. Wow. Three damage and a two damage, I believe. Yeah. So that's nine damage facing Daniel right now. Oh. Hidden motive, I expect for damage. Uh, and he rolled shields, so he's keeping that die still. Does he have the little combo in which he changes, fixes his die? Even if he doesn't, this is still six damage. It is. And two shields to safety himself. I would, I would trigger the two, yeah. Yep, there's getting rid of two shields off Yoda, and then the two indirect will take the other two shields. Wow. Those shields don't last very long. No. There's the second Shoto, as we expected since it was left behind. Discard to reroll, maybe? Uh, try to, try we to were actually the on Daniel's activation at this point. No, because he played the Shoto. Oh, you're right, my mistake. No, see, there's the Yoda, yeah. Oh. Because it was Shoto, then Resolve Die, then. Oh, yeah. okay, of course. Yoda comes in his special on Mill. Um, and he's played an altar that we just... Oh, that is big. That I'm is not big. sure where the altar card is, as I did not see it hit the discard. He still has two resources and uh, a hand, so I'm guessing he must have some sort of mitigation. Maybe. Because if he doesn't, this is, this is looking green for Yoda. Oh, for sure. Oh, this will kill Yoda. There's the Mill, there's just trying to hit something. Because he's just trying to resolve that die before Yoda dies. Uh, we don't. We cannot see what he discarded. Yeah, there's been a couple of cards. Yeah. Thanks. Um, we have someone going over to the table to get the discard pile of Jeff's into frame, as we're not seeing the cards coming out. Yoda. Yoda says bye bye. Yep. And it's looking. Oh, actually, oh. this is pretty good. There's now an ancient lightsaber. Ancient lightsaber. He's going to stay alive a lot better. Oh, and so. Oh, the, mind trick. Yeah. That's that's a good pull. Yeah. All right, so we're I believe so we still haven't had Qui Gon activate. There's the Qui Gon oh, now. Is. Two shields, maybe. Uh, he's so a five damage. That's too. a lot of blanks to see. Fear your anger. Oh no, he no, he has no resources. So Daniel's safe from that at this moment. So he's using the Shoto to gain two shields, I believe, or no, to gain one and do one damage, one damage. off of the shield throw. Hmm. So Qui Gon's got eight health. Ooh, hidden. Hidden motive. On the ancient lightsaber. Interesting. Nope. Goes to a resource. 
I mean, that makes some sense, as it has less damage faces than Qui-Gon would. However, if it had hit plus three, that would have backfired really badly. There's a reroll using the Ren that's fairly useless. Ooh, plus three. There yep. you go. Uh, no, that's a plus two because it was oh, showed he claims. up. He claims and gives rid of the uh, Obi-Wan. Oh, wow. But Is that the first or the second Obi-Wan? First one. Of, okay. However, that's still a lot of damage coming through from Daniel into Jeff's Palpatine. Oh, I, I would have popped... Uh, uh, there's a th there's two sets of three damage. He could pop it at either sequence. Oh, no, no, no. However, he's taking all of the damage. He's taking all of it. I'm expecting it's because he thinks he can take more out with the illusion later. Oh, I don't know. I I would have. I agree. I would have popped it. I mean, three damage is three damage. Now he's now he's down to five. For sure. Qui-Gon can easily do five. For sure. However, I, it may be that he doesn't want to see that plus three off the ancient with a base of two off of Qui-Gon. Mm, that may be his I concern. However, I do agree. I would have mitigated while I could. Feel your anger and doubt on Jeff's hand. Really? Yeah. Those are, oh my. He's Ooh, rolling That's a two and a really three well. again. He's rolling really well. If Daniel can't mitigate this, he may be out of luck. There's the There's overconfidence. There's the overconfidence. Does he have a... Um, uh, we have a three of damage still, and something with Blair. It uh, was a, a two shield, shield, so it's gone. There is an endurance. There's an endurance. Oh, oh my god, the place. The place. Oh, and it's blank. a blank. That's fine. It's still on the board. Yeah, he can reroll it. Uh, I'm expecting he'll resolve that three just to make sure, or at least I would. We'll see if he does. Qui-Gon activates. Yeah, since the endurance was Jeff's last play. That's not what you want to see. It's not horrible, but it's not great. Let's see what he does with the Shotos. He throws two damage at the Shotos. Oh, this is this could be lethal if he takes, he claims the shields. Because um, it's three shields, unless he pops the four solution. Uh, he only has, he would only throw two damage, so it'd be 14. No, because he already has a shield. Yes, but the two off of Qui-Gon, he could only throw one of them, because it's a single resolution. Oh, I see. I would resolve the three, get rid of Qui-Gon's shields. For sure, make it harder yeah. to push. Uh, he's probably thinking about that feel your anger in his hand, if it's worth using. This is close. This is really, really close, guys. Yeah. So. He also have the doubt he could play if he wanted to negate. Hmm. Looks like he has a rend, which doesn't have much relevance right now. Nailbiter, man. Yeah. I would, I would resolve the three. Do the damage me while you can. Sure. It's fine. Eliminate those shields. Again. We all know that, you know. Wait, does does Daniel have uh, synchronicity? The one that if you throw in melee oh, and because wow. if it if, if he does, you do, it's he does. Okay, it's we've unblockable. confirmed there's a synchronicity in his hand, so we'll see if that's what his next play is. But the three damage is resolved as you expected, which puts Qui Gon at yeah. and there's syn synchronicity. He has another one too. I think this is over. So synchronicity is such a powerful card with Qui Gon. Um, he has another one. And he, he Force Illusion can't block it. Can Jeff is in a bad situation here because of that choice earlier with the Force Illusion. Yeah. Let's see if he can... I would I would have used the Force Illusion before for the three damage. For sure. 100%. Be because that came up, for sure. Because um, now if he gains shields, it's over. They're now discussing how the shield mechanic works for Qui-Gon, as Jeff is wanting to confirm if he's going to take damage in the next trigger. This is rough. If the Palpatine die hadn't been anything but a blank, he'd be anything, fine. He, he would win. He would have. Yeah, he would have yeah. won. What to do? So what to do? Is at two HP and helps at one, right? Yeah. Crazy. Oh, he's rerolling. He re I think that's it. Because he doesn't know the synchronicity is there. Yeah, that's at, it. That's because he could have force illusioned the block. That's game. Yep. Wow, so close.